let's talk about what might an actual perpetrator's profile look like. So if it's culture bound, it's not weak, it's not weak, deficits bhi hum keh rahe ke nahi hai. and um, they aren't coming from a certain geographical location or a certain socioeconomic status. So what is it that you see in a perpetrator's profile? You see the opposite of actually the individual deficits. Now there is this technical term right here that you can see on the screen, uh, which is grooming. In simple words, grooming is a process of a per perpetrator making connection with the child that they plan to abuse and making connection oftentimes with their families and the community as well. So as to prepare them for abuse in a way that when they do it, then the survivor isn't in a position to disclose it with anyone else. So that sort of a process requires a lot of social emotional intelligence, like a lot of social emotional skills, you know, uh, making connections with the family in a way that that person is thought of as a good person, being in a position or opting for certain professions at times that people look at with respect so that they have access to kids in that way so that people don't question uh, them. And I don't wanna name professions here, you know, uh, the typical ones out there and we can bring them up in our discussion uh, later on for sure. We're more than welcome to do that. But the process of grooming shows that uh, there isn't any deficit on the part of social emotional skills. In fact, the whole giving attention, giving advice, or like even luring kids with the gifts, it's, it's, it's a lot of intelligent work out there uh, used for negative purposes is all that is. And uh, we want to put it out there as well, like while these uh, people, you know, they, they could be there in a position of authority as well. And sometimes that in itself uh, becomes a challenge um, to address. But sometimes it's also a blindness on our part, more like just to get in a kid, they and they keep it kar dete hain. So you might be catching signs of uh, sexual abuse. You might be, um, you might have a hunch. Aapko shayad shak pade, lekin aap usko probe nahi karte. Again, the perpetrator's profile comes into action there. Ke usne jo ek certain uh, link banaya hota hai, ek certain image earn kiya hota hai, uski vajha se, or maybe other social pressures, we can discuss that later. Because of all of that, there's an element of silence. And that harms the survivor, of course, by the end of the day. So these individuals oftentimes tend to be trusted individuals. Uh, they are often in position of authority. Authority is not that there is a government level type of authority. Authority, as we said, these could be people that you go to for advice or you go to for help, or they're just good people in general out there. And they have a positive image for sure. If they've like, you know, those uh, authority positions and that positive image then is actively used to um, deflect. So even if they're caught, you would see, even if they're accused at times, uh, these people are apt then at deflecting the accusation. So this profile ko base banate hai. Unke liye kafi asan ho jata hai is cheez se because that is then on the surface in direct contradiction with the social profile. So um, that becomes a challenge on the survivor's part as well.